Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm a service designer living in Scotland. This video is an introduction to accessibility. You might have seen the hashtag A11Y on social media. It is short uh, for accessibility. You take the first and last letters and instead of writing the 11 letters in between, you just write 11. So what is accessibility? In the UK, one in five people are disabled. This can affect their vision, their hearing, their speech, can be a physical disability or a cognitive disability. This means it affects their memory or how they process things and think. Or it can be a mix of them. In fact, it's quite frequent that people have more than one disability and it's not always visible to others. Accessibility means that you don't put barriers for them to access the same thing as others. Whether it's online, in that case we talk about digital accessibility, or in a physical space, or when they use a device or an object. Quite often, when we speak about disability, we think of permanent and visible disability. But you can be injured, and be temporarily affected the same way as a person who is permanently disabled, or a situation can make you experience a similar issue. This diagram from Microsoft is a good illustration of that. So for example, a person can be permanently nonverbal for various reasons, and this will be a barrier when you use a voice recognition system like Alexa, for example but you will be affected just the same if you have a laryngitis. And this is also something that someone with a strong accent, like me, could struggle with. It can and it will affect everyone at some point in life. So some general advice. There is no perfect solution which works for everyone. Always plan alternative and ask people what they need. Do not assume. Learn about accessibility and best practice. Quite often, it's not that hard to do the right thing. If you're on Twitter or LinkedIn, follow disabled people or accessibility advocates. That way you hear directly from them about things you might never have realized otherwise. So some simple things you can do. You can share your slide at the start of a presentation. Sharing a link to your slides allow people to see them on their own device. They can change the colors, zoom, or do whatever makes it easier for them to read them. They can follow on their own rhythm and go back if they miss something. Don't use all caps for headings and long text. When you write in capitals, you lose the shape of the word and make it harder to read for everyone and for dyslexic people in particular. In some cases, screen reader might think it's an acronym and start reading it letter by letter. Avoid italic or unusual fonts. It's harder to read too for dyslexic people and it's every and for everyone else in fact. Make sure your color contrasts are good enough. This is between your background and your text. This will help people with low vision in particular. And don't rely on color only. Colorblind people don't see the difference between some colors as well as others. Do you want to learn more? Well, you can join a meetup group about accessibility. There's lots of them. You can follow disabled people on Twitter or LinkedIn and learn from them. And you don't need to become an expert, but you can just make a start. Thank you.